Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor here. Uh, I wanted to do an update here. Uh, eBay reached out to me. Several people actually did, which I was honestly surprised. So I don't get any names or anything confused. Brian Burke from Community Development reached out to me, as well as Head of Seller Experience. And I actually had a conversation, a video chat with Brian and the product development team, as well as those that run the promoted listings. So there were several people involved in a chat online. And I honestly and sincerely thank them for taking the time because it was well over an hour, maybe even an hour and a half that we talked. I was given free reign to, to speak what I would like to say. They did not throttle me or do anything else. So I do honestly and sincerely appreciate them taking the time. Before I go any farther, I just want to also state that I don't get a dime from promoting, talking, or anything else from eBay in any way, shape, or form. I also want to address that uh, a lot of other YouTubers make the majority of their income selling you services and things like that. I do not. I have a honest, sincere stake in eBay being successful because the majority, the vast majority of everything I make or, or income-wise comes from online selling platforms. That is how I live. That is how I feed my kids. I pay for their medical bills, my cars. Everything else comes from reselling. The, again, YouTube is not my thing. I don't market everybody. I don't market my services or anything else. I do have some paid pages that offer content and only content. I don't do packages. I don't do any of that kind of stuff. So this is something that I am fully and passionately invested in. Anybody who watches my channels knows how passionate I am about what I do. So I don't want any misconceptions about anybody thinking that I don't have a stake in this because I'm here on YouTube. I 100% have a stake in it, just like every other seller out there, just like the single moms and uh, fathers who have two or three kids and they're single and they're trying to pay their bills. So this matters to me. I have a child who has a medical condition that's going to cost us a lot of money. So I need eBay to be working for me. So I sincerely and honestly want this to work, which I have said many times. I have also always recommended promoted listings prior to this change. You can watch my videos. I talk about it all the time on ways to increase your sales. Since the change, that has not been my personal take on it. So, And I was given the permission to share this with you too. Uh, what I shared was up to me from uh, Mr. Burke. So I do appreciate again and I do thank them for this. Um, I was really surprised that they reached out. It wasn't my intent to cause some big stink on here. To me, this is a serious issue that affects my personal business. Again, my business is reselling, not YouTube. I do make some money off of YouTube, but it's nothing at all compared to what I make from reselling. You know, just keep that in mind. So part of the issues here were that the organic or native listing disappears when you have the promoted up. How it works, basically, and this was explained to me, you know, very clearly, is that um, if your native listing, your, your non-promoted listing, say, would originally show up on page, say, four, and the promoted listing would happen to be on page one, they will give you the promoted listing. That's what it's supposed to work like. So the other aspect of it, too, is if you, say, put every one of your items on promotion, you may only have a very small percentage of them actually being promoted at any given time. If you do it, and I asked the same question, and I literally ex made an example for it. If I promote something, there's a possibility that may only be promoted and a promoted listing once a month, but you'd still have to pay the fees no matter where they clicked. So even if they clicked with the promoted listing and didn't buy it and then come back and bought it off the organic, that you would still have to pay the fee. And that's how it was before. I've been told otherwise by eBay, but again, that's that's nor here nor there. We're talking about the current issue. So that is the biggest issue here. The ad blocker to me is the major drawback in my personal opinion um, when they're only giving you one displayed listing, either the promoted or not. So if the promoted is on and it's blocked, it does not benefit me at all. And uh, just to reiterate, the promoted listings can 100% be blocked by about 80% of all of the ad blockers out there. It may not be something you download and initially does it. Some of them will do that. There are also our browsers and other things that will do that too. So you've got to take into consideration that. But anybody on the planet can deactivate the sponsored listings. You can do that on your phone just as easily as you can do it on your PC or laptop. So take that into consideration. It's a fact. It is 100% a fact. We'll go into the percentages and all that stuff in just a minute here. Um, but again, they were nice enough to discuss it, so they did explain all of that aspect of it to me. I wouldn't have an issue with the promoted listings at all, just like I never did until September. This September, I promoted them and, and talked about them and recommended them for over a year now until they deleted or got rid of the organic listing. Now, I asked about that, too. 
the organic listing aspect of it. In the past, if you couldn't see the promoted listing, I still had visibility because the organic is there. And uh, another question that I brought up was, you know, am I going to lose my, my Google ranking? Unfortunately, there wasn't anybody in the meeting with me that seemed to be from IT department at all that could, you know, get into it with me because I do have an IT degree. So I wanted to know some particulars. So nobody there could answer some of the questions that I had uh, to a satisfactory level in my book. If we had the organic listing there, I wouldn't have any problem if my promoted listing wouldn't appear all the time. That wouldn't be a concern because it's not... All your items aren't promoted all the time, no matter what. So if you promote everything in your store, there may only be 10% of your items even promoted at any given time. There may only be 1% or none. It, there's no guarantee. And obviously, the more you pay, the more you have a chance on it, it showing. Um, another factor here is there are a limited number of promoted spots. So if, let's say, you in the past had all these other opportunities... And, um, and such forth on it, you may not have that anymore. So you may only have the organic, and if you're not getting views on the organic and you're not rotated into the promoted listing, then you're still not going to get visibility even if you use promoted listings. So, you know, that's some of the consideration. Um, they also said basically that um, promoted listings is a tool that they are giving us, and it's up to you to figure out if it's actually going to work for you or not. They're not promising or making any guarantees, which I'm completely fine with. I would have said the exact same thing. I worked for Corporate America as a regional, so I understand 100% where they are coming from. Their job is to work for eBay. That's not a bad thing. Everybody I worked for, I would have done exactly what these folks did in that meeting, and they didn't do anything wrong. So, again, uh, they didn't do anything wrong. They just stood for eBay's side and what they do. It's their site, and again, I reiterated that to them. So there's nothing wrong with them changing something. It's what, what they did and, and how it was done, in our opinions, and not just mine, but all of the folks that reached out to me and such forth, it, is, is the issue with it. So, you know, it, it could be a good thing, obviously, if we had the, the native or the organic uh, listing in there, but unfortunately, that's not the case they're going with. So, so you're going to have limited visibility on your promoted listings versus what you had before this policy changed, for sure, even if ad blocker wasn't the case because they're limiting the amount of promoted listings so it doesn't clutter up the page. So uh, again, if you're having a drop in sales, um, and we'll discuss that too because I brought that issue up as well, you know, it, that could play into it somewhere. It depends on how much money you're willing to, to raise your, your promoted listing level at, what percentage of money you want to give to eBay for them to promote it. So, you know, it, it, it somewhat comes to a pay per play almost to some extent, in my personal opinion. And again, that's opinion. eBay did not say that, so don't accuse me of saying eBay said something. And I'm not going to go into semantics about all of the other aspects of it. Overall, the promoted listing program, until they changed it, was perfectly fine, even with any other issues that were with it, because it still helped folks. Now I'm not as as sure on that because of the way it's, it's rotating. Again, it's built into there. They're not doing any kind of technology to hurt anybody. And we discussed it as well. Um, again, it was a long conversation, and it was, it, it was a learning experience for me as well. So, um, you know... We make money from selling stuff just as eBay does. I know, obviously, they make money whether we sell or not to some extent because of all the fees for listing. So, I mean, there, there's many different levels to this. So you can't say, you know, they're out to hurt anybody. I've never, ever once said that eBay was out to hurt anybody because it, it's a company. They've got to do what they feel is right for them. And again, I'm not sticking up for either side. I'm just stating factual information. I worked in corporate America for many years, so I've, I've had to be in, in these people's position myself for years. So again, they're not doing anything wrong. It's just the way it was done for our side of it. So... You know, you've got to take that in consideration. You also have to take in that they have two sets of customers. They have buyers and sellers. They have to take and address all of the issues. So part of their, their thinking on that was that the buyers don't like to see all those promoted listings, which I fully agree. If you look at any of the chat boards, including on eBay, people are trying to figure out how to get rid of those. And that's why ad blocker is even more essentially an issue to me, because on eBay's own platform, you can instantly in two seconds figure out how to block every single promoted listing on the site if you want to. Again, the ad blockers block 100% of the promoted listings if you want, and I found 80% of the ones I looked at do that readily with three, four seconds worth of work. So anybody can figure out how to do it in just a few moments. So again, it's it's a thing. I, you know, It's just the facts. They do admit that it is an issue. It is an a, a international issue, which I addressed as well. The ad blockers work on every site. 
You know, it's something that corporate America knows is going on. There's only so much you can do about the technology if the technology doesn't change, though. So I also want to uh, talk about this, too. Brian did give me personal contact information, emails and things like that, too. I've got names and contacts with eBay as well because of this, this issue here. For those who have sent me stuff, screenshots and comments and things like that, I 100% appreciate it. eBay appreciates knowing what's going on and what our feelings are as well. And I honestly and sincerely believe that. Um, I'm, I'm a fairly good judge on, on character, I would say. I hired thousands and thousands of people in my day and, and did very well for the companies I worked for doing that. So this guy, Brian, does seem to be a straight deal. He worked for eBay for 20 years, so he's seen it through through the early days. So I, I believe the guy. I honestly do. And I believe the staff members that I talk to. Again, the only issue with the, the conversation I have is there is no IT people present. So these are like community relations, marketing uh, gurus, and um, business managers type of, of, of positions that I talk to. So, you know, there, there's a different aspect of it. I really honestly wished I could have talked to somebody from IT um, on this. Now, head of seller experience, and unfortunately I didn't write his name down to remember it, but left a comment. Um, I, again, I worked in corporate America. I've had to do posts just like was done on, on my page. They, they did a post and commented. I did respond. You're welcome to see it. It's still on my very first video discussing this. The, the, the problem with, with, in my book, is that they, they made a, a public relations statement as a post on there. And again, there's nothing wrong with it. I would have done the exact same thing as well as anybody else in corporate America. The wording on how much is being blocked by an ad blocker was their data suggests that less than 2% is being blocked. Where I worked, and I worked for corporate America for many years, including you know a 10-year stint at Disney, Walt Disney, um, the word suggested was always told to be used when you didn't have hard facts. Suggested is not a fact. So again, let's let's separate the word suggested from fact. Look up suggested in the dictionary if you, if you'd like if you if you question the the meaning of the word suggested. Now I brought that exact statement up to them because I wanted to know how they could determine those facts. Again, I'm I'm telling you the aspects that happened in the conversation. So so they're, they're judging it on sales haven't declined um, is what they go. So opinion-wise, this is my opinion from working in corporate America. They, they echoed the exact same statements that were echoed in the post. So again, I'm sure that these are public relations statements and things that they are addressed and supposed to say. Again, nothing at all wrong with anything they did. No improprieties, no wrongdoing at all in the part for them to do this. This is what we do. This is what I do in some cases when I was running the same similar style of positions. The problem, again, is there is no hard data. You cannot use sales in my book because, again, they've changed things. They're hard-pressing promoted listings. If those of you who have been on for a few months, you will know that they've added in a, a button that you can click on the mainframe listing page that adds promoted listings right there, and it's automatically on or was when you first get your first listing ready to go. So if you didn't notice it, you may have automatically done promoted and didn't even notice it. I can say that's happened because I've had many people tell me that, and I have seen it and missed it the first time when it happened because I wasn't told that it was going to happen. So there are increased, obviously, probably sales from some of the promotions, but there's, of course, more people on the site than ever before. So you've got to take that into consideration. If, if I had to use and go into a court of law or even do a report in school, college-wise, and use that as information, it would not be acceptable in any of those situations because there's no baseline to compare it to. Their baseline doesn't match up because you've changed the whole structure of the system. So you can't compare one structure to another. It would be like comparing a Datsun to a Buick. They're not the same thing. You can't use uh, the Datsun comparison to a Buick to compare the two and say that they're alike because they're not. That's why that doesn't work in my book. Again, they reiterated the suggested it's less than 2%. The, the, again, the problem with that, in my opinion, is the national average. And again, look it up. There's universities who have studies of tens of thousands of people and, and studies that come from industrial journals, not some random people that they surveyed in a group or something like that. These are industrial accepted results state that 40%, depending on which one you read, have ad blockers on. And I'm not going to go into semantics on this. So what? It's 20, 25%. Other sites know these numbers as well. So how do you get to 2% or less when the average people use way, 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 way more than that. So 
their their explanation wasn't wasn't good and this explanation held through the conversation at the end towards the end then then they came back and said oh yes we do honestly have other factors to judge this by so you know now I'm I'm puzzled because they already said that wasn't the case and now they said it was again this is literally what happened in the conversation I'm not trying to misspeak or say anything that didn't happen that is what came up at the end of the conversation so I asked well I thought you just said that you didn't do that so you know I question this now I'm now puzzled by the whole conversation I am a numbers guy I've grown my business because I follow numbers and I look at the facts if I wasn't looking at the facts I would not be successful I would not have been successful as a regional manager for a corporate America I would not have graduated um, cum laude with a master's degree if that wasn't the case that's what my whole life is based on I'm a military brat as well so I grew up in a certain aspect you say something you do what you say so you know that's where I'm coming from on this so I still don't feel comfortable at all with the way it, it's going so I won't do any more promoted listings what you do and what happens with your business is up to you on that so again if 20 percent of my listings aren't showing up that is a factor I know you don't pay unless it sells but if it's unpromoted and no one can see it how many sales am I losing because I promoted it again I, I've recommended promoted listings for since I started using them for more than a year so it's not a bad thing it's just the structure of it has changed to a way where most people don't feel comfortable with the change in it because there's there's no determining factor on what's what is or isn't going to happen with that it's random if you notice too with the promoted listings there's a limited as I said in the top you could also get promoted at the bottom of the page or other places it, it's there's no guarantee on the placement of your ad so you could be promoted on a third page or somewhere else it's, it's just the facts of the matter nothing wrong with that again they're not doing anything wrong I never ever once said eBay did anything wrong it's their site they do what they need to do to address their business just like I do what I need to to grow and address my own business so you've got to you got to take it from from a different perspective as well instead of just accusing eBay of doing something my whole consideration again and I've said this in those videos that I love eBay and I'm not going to quit over something like this it was just in my opinion a bad decision one other aspect I'd like to say on this too is that um, they are going to be doing pay per clicks so they've gotten rid of the promoted listings and now they're going to add in other listings so I've got to wonder if they're getting rid of some promoted listings just to get pay per clicks added in without cluttering it up anymore so I, I know again you don't pay unless it sells but on pay-per-clicks you pay even if it doesn't sell so that model would be much better for eBay if they accepted money and got paid if you just clicked without even selling the item that would eliminate the need for them in some aspects to do promoted listing because then they would always be getting funds from it again there's nothing wrong with doing that that's not something that's wrong or bad or against business policies or against you or I again they're doing what they need to do to keep their business going in a direction that that is good so uh, that's about it with that aspect of it now I'm going to address a couple more things here because uh, I asked them a whole bunch of things I laid it out on the table I laid my cards out on the table and as I said I did address and bring up a bunch of other issues I brought up transparency I brought up uh, trust factor I brought up um, customer support and in the different answers and them telling us things that aren't exactly correct a lot of times I also brought up them changing the system without telling us without even telling their employees so I addressed all the issues these are issues again that were brought to me by you folks out there so these are honest concerns I brought up the issue last year with all the photos disappearing and them taking weeks to, to bring it up I also addressed the CEO's comments as well uh, on promoted listings if you don't know eBay sold less items last year but made 65 million dollars more from us off of promoted listings so they they sold less items they had less traffic but they made more money because they're centering in now on on targeting promoted listings to us so th that's one issue that I had and and I asked why aren't you targeting more people I said you're losing the younger generation they know that they they literally know that they that was addressed in, in the conversations so again I, I wanted to know the answers to these I had eBay's ear for a minute here so I addressed these issues for us for me because these are issues that concern me as well I am a seller first and foremost and always will be so this this matters to me this is serious to me this is my life as much as it is yours so I, I look at that as as a factor in here I've got to protect myself and address these issues and and let everybody know what's going on so I brought those issues up 
you know, even while I was talking to him that yesterday, the same day we talked, eBay was down for hours. And I brought that issue. I lost, you know, time and labor from hours of people coming in and couldn't list. So, you know, I, I brought up the fact of backups, you know, don't have backups in place. And I, it's, it happens in every site. So again, it's, eBay's not doing anything different, anything wrong. It, it's technology has issues and stuff happens. So I understand that. But I wanted them to know why people are doubtful and why people feel that way. So, you know, I, I wanted to lay it out again because I've gotten hundreds and hundreds of comments on this exact topic here, probably a thousand or more emails and, and letters and stuff. So, again, these are some of our concerns. These are some of my concerns. And I'm not going to go into many other details we discussed because it's, it's really irrelevant to the issue. Again, I don't get paid by eBay to do any of this. I, I just want the feelings of the vast majority of eBay users to be heard. That's that's my opinion. That's that's what I feel is the right thing to do for the community that does appreciate and does like and does love being on eBay, but has issues with what goes on. Because it does feel some days for many of us that our, our, our issues and our aspects aren't considered. But again, they've got two sets of customers, as I said. So they've got a balancing game here to address the issues. I understand that fully because I had employees wherever I've worked who worked under me and then I had customers as well. I have always had two sets of customers, two sets of dealings that I had to deal with, so I get it. In some areas I worked, I had three because I had vendors, customers, and employees. So, so again, there, there's many factors involved. eBay's never been out to get anybody. I've said this for a year and a half since I've been on YouTube. That's just not the case. Good decision, bad decision with what they did. In my opinion, it's a bad decision. Again, that's my opinion. Uh, you know, I'm entitled to say what I feel is is just. We know that, you know, this stuff is going on. We know that there's issues. Uh, one thing I do want to call out to those who did send me stuff, if you would like that brought up to eBay, to these folks here, he is openly asking and will accept any of the stuff that I, I turn over um, to him. And they will address it and they will try to fix whatever they can. So if you want to give me permission to share the information that you sent over to me, any of the folks out there. So if there's other folks as well who have issues and have, you know, your sales reports or things like that, and you do want eBay to see it, I have contact information. He assured me that they wouldn't share it if you're nervous on folks seeing it who may retaliate. I, I would never worry about eBay retaliating, in my opinion. They're corporate America. They, they stand to lose a lot of stuff if they're caught doing something like that. So I don't feel that's the case. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I, I feel that they were being on the up and up. I do honestly and sincerely, and I think you guys know I don't say that unless I really mean it because I'm so passionate about what I do. I really think Brian wants to help the situation. Mr. Burke was very gracious enough to open up his personal contact information, cell numbers, and the whole works. So I, I do feel that, that they want to address it. So if you do have concerns and you're afraid to call or do something to eBay out of uh, other issues that you may have had or concerns from transparency or anything like that, I feel that he would address them. He honestly, sincerely, he's got 20 years into eBay. So so again, if they, they add the, the organic back in, I would be fine with it, or the native, whichever you want to call it. Again, the ad blocker has nothing whatsoever to do with eBay. It's not a glitch. It is technology. It is how it works. So I do trust in what was told to me. I do acknowledge that, that they're, they're being factual with that aspect of it, but some of the information they did not have and could not provide me with figures. They couldn't even give me a key again because the folks that I talked to were not IT. They were business and marketing folks. Nothing wrong with anything eBay did, has done in the past to me or any other time frame that I can say in the history of my uh, contacts with eBay. So don't criticize uh, someone for something else that's, that's happening. eBay does make money and more money, whether it's from listing fees or not, but they do make a lot more money from selling stuff. Um, so that's what you got to take out of this and what you got to think. So I, again, I thank those who made the comments and it's literally probably over a thousand that have contacted me over these issues. So it is a serious and an honest concern and something that needs to be addressed for everybody to feel comfortable with it. I don't know what the answer is or I don't know what the issues would be that would fix it because again, it's based on technology. I can tell you, though, that there is going to be another update in October. Um, no discussion was had on what that is going to entail. Um, it will address some of the ad blocker issues from what I understand. So, of course, they do 100% know it's an issue. One other issue here that I did, did call out and said it's a huge concern for most people is the customer service support. Again, I'm not criticizing anybody at customer service because they only can go with the information that they personally have. 
I have U.S. customer support. They get paid very well, so it's they're not like low-level employees. They're paid and taken care of by eBay fairly well from what I see, and I've talked to many of them. I don't think I've ever had a bad experience from an eBay rep personally in, in I couldn't tell you when. So they may not have the correct answer, but I do not blame them. They are well taken care of. I have not heard complaints from anybody there. So that's a good thing. They have improved customer service. They have looked into it. But if we could get the same answer from everybody and it to be the correct answer, that would that would make everybody feel more comfortable. Even yesterday, I called and asked on the ad blocker, and they still said customer service that it doesn't block your promoted listings. And we know it's not true. 80% of the ad blockers will block 100% of the promoted listing. If you want to see it yourself, look up top. I have a link to a video that will show you instantly how to do it on your own laptop and PC so you can see for yourself that it will block 100% of the promoted listings if you want it to. Some of them will do it, as I said, from the start, from the minute you download it too. So, you know, takeaways from this are you've got to look at this from your own personal perspective. You know, uh, I did nothing wrong in any way, shape, or form. I my my issues with this are 100% legitimate and proven by eBay. Again, we're basing on fact. The word suggested is not a factual statement whatsoever. It's in the dictionary. If you'd like to look up what fact versus uh, suggested means, so if you can't determine the the difference between suggested and fact, look it up in the dictionary, please. Because you know eBay cannot produce a specific amount that's blocked. They do not have that figure. They would not produce anything. They would not produce a way that they could even tell a figure or anything like that. I understand they, they said they couldn't release any logarithms. Fine, I completely understand that. So, you know, it would just have been nice to see what keynote they were using to determine that when they can't produce a solid figure. They are here to help because we all do better. I do better, you do better if, if the issue is is handled or at least addressed in a satisfactory manner where we feel comfortable with it. So, again, I addressed every issue I could think of that, that affects our opinions on, on them. So, you know, uh, there was a no-holds-bar, and they were open to it. So, again, I do thank them. I thank you folks as well. Um, you know, I wanted to get to the bottom of this, and I still don't have the finalized answer. Maybe they'll change it because of this. It's their site, so if they don't, I'm, I'm still going to be doing eBay full-time. I'm not going to change my, my listings. I'm not going to be, you know, dropping off the site at all. It's, it's one of the best platforms out there. Again, we sell in many platforms, but eBay and Amazon are a top. I, I can can't say that enough there I would never give up either one of those anybody who's thinking this is the end of eBay for you it's just not a proper decision eBay is still one of the best platforms it for antiques and stuff and the collectibles that I personally have thousands and tens of thousands of listings of eBay is the bomb for that you can't beat it so if I give up promoted listings I'm fine I'm still gonna be just fine you know um, as long as you're 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 you know your business but again do what you need to do for you um, and think about the issues and the facts. Well, that's what I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.